Les Paul, a must-have for any guitar player. One could not simply rock without it. The Les Paul model debuted in 1952, humbuckers emerging in 1957, instruments featuring mahogany bodies, set necks, and a whole lot of tone. With the help of legendary guitarist and inventor Les Paul himself, who was also responsible for creating multi-track recording, Gibson's creation would end up changing the world of music forever. These guitars are played and endorsed by legendary guitarists like Jimmy Page, Pete Townsend, Billy Gibbons, Randy Rhodes, and Joe Bonamassa, just to name a few. In this video, we're going to take a look at the prestigious Murphy Lab collection and the various levels of aging. Located here in our very own Gibson Custom Shop, master artisan Tom Murphy and his select team create the ultimate storytelling on our coveted Custom Shop models and beyond by adding handcrafted aging and distressing elements to reflect years of playing and use unique to each instrument. Here you can experience not only the sound, but also the look and feel of an instrument that has either been played minimally, hit a few shows, seen some bar circuits, or has been rocked stadium to stadium for the last 50 years by one of your favorite guitar heroes. If you're looking for a period correct vintage recreation custom shop model of some of the most highly coveted Gibson models in history that have seen some use, thoughtfully aged in the right areas, and how they would actually be accurately represented from slightly broken in to extremely rocked with plenty of stories to tell, this collection is for you. Best of all, these guitars will continue to age gracefully, unique to every player's experience. Even the case and the case linings are period accurate, and they all come complete with the certificate of authenticity. Let's take a look at a few models from each level of aging. Most importantly, what to expect on each as far as lacquer checking, hardware patina, and other concentrated areas of wear. Let's start off with ultralight. I like to call these the time capsule guitars. We'll say that these have, you know, definitely spent most of their time in the case. Maybe they've been played around the house, but you know, nothing crazy. It hasn't seen a gig or anything like that. So you're still gonna have your VOS finish and you're gonna get some minimal checking here. You know, very light checking all over the body and the neck and the uh, headstock. What's cool about this is you have a little bit of patina here on the hardware and the hand rolled binding on the uh, fretboard edges here for a little uh, extra comfort. Moving over to light, this is going to simulate 50 years of average play wear, a favorite guitar that's never really left the comforts of home. More intense lacquer checking, you're going to see some light dings, some pick trails, a little finish flaking, you're still going to have your patina on the hardware, and of course the hand rolled fingerboard binding for a little extra comfort. To heavy aging. This guitar has been on the road for decades. It's seen some significant wear and tear. There's a lot of buckle rash on the back. We've got some arm wear here. You see some prominent checking throughout. We've got some neck wear. There's even some peg head face wear here. And then now you've got your Murphy Lab heavy aged hardware. And again, we have the hand rolled fingerboard binding for that extra feel and comfort.
finally, Ultra Heavy. Like an old favorite that your guitar hero has been performing with for decades, our artisans here invoke half a century of heavy touring and mileage. On these models, you're gonna notice heavy buckle rash on the back, heavy armwear on the front, Murphy Lab heavy aged hardware. On the neck, you're gonna see a lot more wear. Now we're introducing areas of exposed wood, peg head face wear, and last, you're gonna also see the hand-rolled fingerboard binding here for a little more comfort. For more information on these guitars and other Murphy Lab offerings, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.